Welcome back. Two award-winning chefs and restaurateurs take us into their home and their newest cookbook. Chef Sarit Packer and Itamar Shrulevich, co-founders of the Honey & Co. restaurants and shop in London, share their favorite home recipes in Honey & Co. at home, Middle Eastern recipes from our kitchen. They're here now with several dishes that are bursting with flavor, yet fit into any healthy diet. I've just been eyeballing everything yeah. like there's no tomorrow. How are yeah. you two? We're really We're good. So good. So We're good. so happy to be here. And this is, like you said, is such a good time to be here as well. The produce this, was amazing. Oh, we went to the markets. We good went to uh, university, mm -hmm. uh, university, university district, 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 yeah. district, yeah. district the farmers fine. market. We just couldn't get our hands off of everything. Everything is so beautiful. And it's all this really healthful uh, stuff that yeah. we love. And our cherries here are wonderful. Let me ask you first of all, and I'm going to ask them in order so you can tell me just quickly about Honey & Co. The restaurant. Yeah. Yes. That's our first one. That's your first Small one. Small baby. baby. Yeah. Small baby. Yeah. Uh, followed by Honey & Smoke. Big yeah. baby. Yeah. Big baby. Big baby. <laughs> and then Honey & Spice, your food shop. Yeah. Favorite baby. <laughs> 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 Tell me other places. Yeah, Not no, that we have no. favorites. We don't have favorites. No favorites. <laughs> no. He said it out loud. Yeah. Um, we need a honey and spice. Can you just have something here for us too? You, well, you know, we you know stole what? we stole an export from you because oh, the, you our manager in honey and spice is from Seattle. Oh and she my grew up here, so. Well, maybe she'll keep talking to you about coming here <laughs> about coming so back for a bit. The latest cookbook has this amazing stuff. What was yeah. the inspiration? What did you want to do with this book? Well, well, shall I show you? This is our, our resolution for 2019 is not to talk over each other. So oh. we're trying yeah, really we're trying hard. To. I'll try to. It's just enthusiasm. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think what we really Bursting. wanted to do was reconnect to our home. Because we've been chefs for so long and we were opening these restaurants and we spent a busy, busy time setting up yep. our business. And we kind of lost a bit of touch with being at home, cooking for ourselves, cooking mm -hmm. for our friends. And we really wanted to... To bring that back, back to, the, yes. you know. That, yeah. and food is love. You want to do it, it at is. home. You want to share it with the people yeah. that you love. So yeah. we're going to make a couple of things. Tuna dip with egg and broccoli. Bring yeah. it on. What are we doing? I mean, well, this we've is... You, yeah. you, you can start, but we've changed the broccoli you to see asparagus. How that's working out for and us. Us. you did, asparagus. Okay, we changed great. to asparagus yeah. simply because when we went to the farmer's market, we were like, why that's not what use what's there. amazing here? Yes. And this is the best thing about this dip because actually what you want is the dip and anything that's in the market, anything that's Perfect. amazing is what you want to take. Perfect. Yeah. I like the swap out. I like yeah. broccoli, but I love asparagus. So yeah. this is great. amazing. And what's, what's nice about this is oftentimes, you know, we would come back from work, there's nothing in the house, there's always tuna. Yeah. So we'd whiz this up and, you know, eat it with whatever there is. Or if friends coming, you can serve it as an appetizer, or you can serve it with your roast meat, like you know vitello tonato. Yes. So it's like a really handy little mm. number to have in your kitchen. And all Absolutely. of these things are in our fridge always. So there's a bit of mayonnaise, um, a bit of yogurt, mustard, grain mustard, lemon juice, and vinegar. That's all it is really. Losing it I've all got up. That. Yeah. Most people Most have, people that, have right? that, and that's the that's the basis of it. It all goes in at once and. While you're making that, you boil a big pot of water, mm -hmm. you blanch some broccoli, you blanch some juice. asparagus, or these beautiful uh, sugar snap peas, and radishes. then radishes, carrots, anything that's going really beautifully, arrange it beautifully, kind of on a tray, and that's all you need, really. So, oh, I love the heirloom carrots, but I want to watch you do this because your presentation is always, it's not that it's that complicated, it's just that it's creative no. and made for the, you know, the thing that just really draws the eye. It is. And, look at know, that. Actually, when the, when the produce is that good it does the work for you it you does doesn't yeah. it machine. i am <laughs> I, know, I think, that, it's the hardest I think thing. we came to terms okay. now okay here we go so becoming best friends so really all all we do is kind of sit with a plate of this mm -hmm. sometimes in front of the tv i'm not gonna, not lie. gonna lie no and we just kind of dip eat it's really healthy really easy and also, the best thing is you can prepare it before guests come if you're having anyone exactly. over for dinner. Exactly. So you've got the eggs, so there's a little protein in a there protein. along with the tuna. Sorry, am I in your way? Yeah, no, that's The dip there. is so simple. I thought that yeah, was going to be something more. You will try it. You <laughs> will not believe lovely. how delicious that is. That's it lovely. It really, really is great. And enough cayenne to give it a little kick. You I can do that. I never thought in a million years um, cayenne with the tuna. Yeah, just a bit of spice can I try and bring a it. Yeah, sure. Please do. Dig in. Let me see. Dig in, he says. Right. I'm gonna go for oh, a few. Oh, yummy! Mm, Beautiful that's radishes. Really good. I love tuna, so it's so nice. And actually, if you have any leftovers the next day in a sandwich in your lunchbox, Ooh, and that would make a great very, sandwich with a little toast. Yeah, and maybe some avocado, and you'd be off off to the races. Let's talk about some of the other things you brought. This is a similar thing 
So I kind of get the style, and I love the family style eating and the idea that we could all sit around outside and eat together yeah. Yeah. and enjoy well, something. Weather permitting. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> you notice this was not peak summer today well, in we're, Seattle. We're from London, so this is our summer you know for what? sure. Our weather is like almost exactly the same. If you look any day, what you're but, having and what we're having, it's the same. Okay, so let's talk about what's here. So uh, this is the same one. Same thing. Yeah. And then over here, we've done a couple of salads that we would kind of serve as a big. A big buffet. So in, oh, that looks so good. Yeah, in the one on the end, we have uh, frika. So we've got a bit of raw frika to, to show you guys what it is. But oh, it's, is it? it's a wheat that's been smoked while it's still in its kernels. So it's picked green, smoked in the kernels, and then shook out, would yeah. you say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. you would say. Uh, and then you cook it. You cook it a bit like pasta. Loads of water, a bit of salt in the water. So it tastes a little like cook. Couscous or? It's um, like a really enriched like wheat, wheat like a you cracked know, wheat. Smell it, it's a little bit smoky and it has a really kind of green mm. taste. Yeah, yeah. it feels yeah. kind of earthy yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then pairing it with really like these amazing cherries from this season. I mean, your cherries. And, yeah, Seriously. so beautiful. Thank you, we do we have wonderful so cherries jealous. here. Those so, are beautiful. What else is in there? And then there's some pistachios, roasted pistachio nuts, roasted almonds, lots of lots of herbs, mint and parsley and tarragon and uh, celery because that yeah. kind of gives yeah. some yeah. freshness a little crunch and some, and some saltiness. Crunch. You guys are so good at, at the spicing, obviously, but also just the mouthfeel of the yeah. foods in your cookbook. There's, you know, there's crunch, there's savory, yeah. there's, you know, a surprise sometimes. It needs to be interesting, yeah. the it whole is. thing. Yeah. How, do you, what do you, how do you think about this? If I wanted to go about this at home and I'm saying, okay, I'm going to use couscous in my dish, but I'm going to throw the rest of this in here. How do I think about maybe adjusting recipes and creating something like this? So we always, like you say, we always have a crunch and it usually comes from nuts. And really lovely toasted nuts add a really good contrast yes. to anything. So That's kind of our magic ingredient. It is. For everything. Everything. For you, right? yeah. They're really good for you, good oils for your face, you get mm -hmm. good skin from them. And uh, adding that, and usually with a bit of fruit, that adds some sweetness, oh. then always acidity, a bit of lemon juice or a bit of vinegar, something to pop all those flavors. And then something that's also really satisfying. So the grain goes in and that's like really kind of uh, nice, wholesome. And wholesome. I'm going like, to write down what you just said because <laughs> that's really good advice. So over here you've used the cherries, radishes, yeah. the peaches. And, yeah. and what we've done with the peaches is we've lightly pickled them and the it's a really good thing to do if your if your peaches aren't the perfect peach because you know that's right if yeah. it's a perfect peach you just want to eat it but sometimes they're not cutting them out pickling them in a in a kind of solution with a bit of sugar and a lot of vinegar and fennel seeds and black peppercorns and the flavor really pops and black peppercorns see yeah. i would never have guessed is this in the cookbook tell yeah. me that one yeah, it is definitely everything here is in the cookbook <laughs> yeah. uh, and and hooray for imperfect the, produce yes. because there's Sometimes. nothing wrong with them yeah. just go ahead yeah, and, and do it it is yeah. well i tell you in, in our restaurants in london we get a lot of our produce from southern europe so we get a lot of italian stuff mm -hmm. and french stuff we've been walking here in the market you guys you're you guys right. are winning yeah. in a big <laughs> big way we're really lucky and sometimes we don't realize it because it's always there yeah. but it really is a spectacular it's sensational, I think so. and truly. i think in, in this season going and just using those cherries for everything mm -hmm. for everything it's just yeah. you know replace them if it's a, you know if it's a cake recipe that calls for something else just use cherries because yeah. they are just amazing and cherries i can attest are good at every meal of the day yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to use them every meal of the day yeah. thank you all so much beautiful food and a beautiful book and i hope everybody thank will you. go get it thank you so much and for enjoy. having us and we'll be healthier for it too okay. chef sarit and itamar have shared a couple of recipes from honey and co at home we posted them online along with information about how to order a signed copy of the book for yourself. Thank you so much. Thank Such you a so pleasure. much. Thank